Good morning, friends. This is Mrs. Greening in the library. Missing you so much. And here I am, just no kids, just me and Arthur over there on the star quality chair and my little fuzzy Riley boy. He's in the book hospital waiting for me to be done and so we can go. I just did curbside library outside and had some visitors coming to drop off books and pick up some new books. But I'd like to share a story with you, a story with you before I go home. Uh, this one is about Daisy. It's called Come Along, Daisy by Jane Simmons. And this is about a little duck who um, her, her mom wants her to stay close so she doesn't get lost. But um, sometimes that's hard, isn't it? When you're out shopping with your parents or out in a place where there's so much to look at and you get a little distracted, right? That happened to me when I was a little girl. I was at the state fair with my Girl Scout troop and I was looking up at a sign and all of a sudden everybody was gone and it was pretty scary. I did find them pretty quickly. They came back and looked for me, but it can be scary to be lost. Let's see what happens to Daisy. Now, uh, Daisy's at home at my house because she doesn't like this story very much about when she got lost. It makes her really scared. So we aren't going to make her listen to this story today. Let's read it, though, while she's not here, okay? You must stay close, Daisy, said Mama Duck. I'll try, said Daisy. But Daisy didn't. Come along, Daisy, called Mama Duck. Well, I see a friend over here, Mama. Daisy was busy watching the fish. Look at this beautiful painting, boys and girls. Daisy's head is under the water, and we can see all the fish swimming around under there. What's that? Do you know what that is? It floats on top of the water like it's a plant, and then it grows a flower that's white, yellow, and very beautiful. It's a lily pad. Come along, Daisy, shouted Mama Duck again. But Daisy was far away chasing the dragonflies. Well, that looks like fun. Come here, Daisy, shouted Mama Duck. But Daisy was bouncing on the lily pads. Bouncy, 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 boing, boing, boing. Oh, this is so much fun. <laughs> Plop went a frog. Quack said Daisy. Ribbit, said the frog. Bong, plop. Bong, plop. Bong, plop. Splash. Oh, where did he go? Quack, said Daisy. But the frog had gone. Well, look at the pretty painting. You can see the ripples in the water where the frog went in. Mama! Called Daisy, but Mama Duck had gone. Daisy was all alone. Something big stirred underneath her. Oh, Daisy shivered. There's eyes right there. What could that be? Well, remember, it's not the ocean. So she's probably in a lake, right? So what do you think that is? What lives in a lake? Here's the tail. Here's the fin. Looks very big to a little tiny baby daisy. She scrambled up onto the riverbank, and then something screeched in the sky above her. <gasps> Look how tiny she looks down there. We're seeing her from that bird's eye view. So Daisy hid in the reeds. Oh, if only Mama Duck were here. Something was rustling along the riverbank. Daisy could hear it getting closer and closer and closer and closer and closer. It was Mama. Oh. Daisy, come along, she said. And Daisy did. Oh my, look how fast she's swimming over by Mama. And even though Daisy played with the butterflies, 
she stayed very close to Mama Duck. Oh my goodness. Let's read one more about Daisy, okay? Because you guys are hatching eggs in kindergarten? This one's called Daisy and the Egg by Jane Simmons. Oh, ho, ho. let's see what happens. There's Daisy. How many eggs now? asked Daisy. Four, said Aunt Bub Buttercup proudly. My three and Mama's green one. Your aunt is sitting on an egg for me, explained Mama Duck. Oh, can I sit on one too? asked Daisy excitedly. See, there's Mama's green egg and there's Aunt Buttercup. Three white eggs. It wasn't easy. Oh my goodness, look how little she is. She can't sit on an egg, can she? Hmm, I wonder why Aunt Buttercup is sitting on Mama's egg. Why do you think Mama isn't sitting on her own egg? I bet you know. Is she kind of busy with little Daisy? Every day, Mama Duck has sent Daisy over with food for Aunt Buttercup. Look at she's carrying it in her mouth. Do you see that? She's swimming over there. Here I come. Daisy listened as the chicks tapped softly inside their shells. You'll have a brother or sister soon, said Aunt Buttercup. Oh, Daisy was so excited. We can hear him in the air. When Daisy and Mama Duck went to visit Aunt Buttercup the next day, she was flapping her wings. They're hatching! They're hatching! She called. Oh, look how fast they're swimming. Can you see their waves in the water? They're good swimmers. They've got food for Aunt Buttercup. One of Aunt Buttercup's ducklings had cracked its shell. Daisy watched her first cousin struggle out. Oh, this is her aunt, so that would be her little cousin coming out, right? Oh, this is so exciting. Yuck, he's all wet, said Daisy. Shh, scolded Mama Duck. Then Aunt Buttercup's other two ducklings hatched. Oh, look how cute they are. While Mama Duck and Aunt Buttercup talked about names, Daisy waited for Mama's egg to hatch. She thought she heard something, but then nothing happened. Where's my brother or sister? They all listened, but still there was no sound coming from the egg. That night, Mama Duck sat on her own egg. Well, Aunt Buttercup's busy with her babies now, right? But the next day, it still didn't hatch. Ah, some eggs just don't hatch, said Mama. Come and play with your cousins, Daisy. But Daisy wanted to stay with Mama's egg. Oh, look how sweet she is. She's cuddling and hugging that egg. I think she already loves that little baby brother or sister that's in there, don't you? Daisy made a hole in the feathers, rolled the egg in, and sat on top. She figured out a way to sit on that egg all by herself, didn't she? We thought she was too little for that. Come along, Daisy, called Mama. Mama Duck, but Daisy would not move. Do you see the egg under there? These are beautiful paintings. It was getting dark, and Daisy was cold and tired. She sat on that egg all day, boys and girls. Mama Duck came back. We'll sit together until morning, she said kindly. Yes, said Daisy. Oh, she missed her mama. She sat on that egg all day. Oh, good Daisy. <gasps> now there's Daisy underneath Mama's wing, and she's on top of the egg still. Beep, beep, beep. Daisy woke up. <gasps> it was the egg. Her new brother struggled out of his shell and said, Pip, pip, whack, said Daisy. Pip, he said again. Pip, 
said Daisy. Hello, Pip, said Mama Duck. Look way over in the distance over there. There's Aunt Buttercup with the cousins. Oh, I'm so glad they didn't give up on that little egg. And Daisy sat and she was so patient. Together they all watched the sunrise on little Pip's hatching day. Oh, I guess that'll be his birthday, won't it? Next year, that will be his birthday. That would be funny if you called your birthday your hatching day. That'd be kind of funny because you didn't hatch, did you? You didn't come out of an egg like that, like Daisy did. Daisy was a big helper, wasn't she? Oh, Daisy. I'll have to bring her next time when I read a story here because there's another one about Daisy where she finds something on the farm that scares her a little bit. She gets scared kind of easy. Poor little Daisy. Okay, well, that was an exciting good story, though. It had a good ending, didn't it? All right, boys and girls, thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you next time, okay? Bye-bye.